Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video, and in this video, as you guys have seen it titled, I'm going to be giving you my first thoughts and some things that I'm really, really amazing, uh, excited about in Gears Tactics, and I know what you guys are thinking, Inferno, a PC game? You're a console type guy, what's up with this? Well, you know what? I'm officially a part of the PC Master Race because of this game, dude. This game is so amazing so far, and I... I can now call myself a part of the PC Master Race, okay guys, so uh, make sure when you add me on Twitter to do at PC Master Race in front of Paternal, you know what I'm saying, that's what it is for now, but anyway guys, I want to talk about two main things, and you know, I know you already seen in the title, but I want to be talking about the cosmetic system and the troop system in Gears Tactics, because I'm going to be honest, I'm really amazed. And you know, I, I love to hate on games, okay, I love to hate on games, but to be quite honest with you. This is my first thoughts, okay? This is my first thoughts, but so far, I can't find anything that I dislike about this game. I mean, the only thing I dislike is that I'm trash at the game, and you can't fix that. <laughs> but yeah, starting off, I'm gonna be talking about the cosmetics. The cosmetics in this game just make me so excited, and the main reason they make me so excited is for one reason. Yes, there are some cosmetics like hats or, you know, helmets that you can unlock, you know, you can get, but for the most part, most and the majority of all the skins and the patterns and the material for your armor and all of that, you already have. You don't have to spend money on cases. You don't have to spend money on loot boxes. It's there and you can use it on your armor for in the campaign and even in the cutscenes. Even in the cutscenes, your colored armor or your colored weapon is there. It is so amazing. And it, if you really start getting bored of the gameplay, you know, just change up your armor and change up the color and look at something new. But yeah, compared to Gears of War 4 and partially Gears of War 5, all the skins you had to get out of these packs, you know, and had to spend real life money to get the good ones. But I'm I'm liking it so far because all of these skins for the characters and the guns, you don't have to pay money for. All you have to do is just equip it. Find it and equip it. It's amazing, and I'm actually really proud of the coalition. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, guys. Now I'm going to be talking about the troop system. Basically, if you don't know what the troop system is, is um, and about a lot of these levels have to do with you rescuing uh, people or, you know, some people that are stuck in the torture chambers, and when you end up rescuing them, they become one of your troops for that level, and you can control them, and as it's like a team member, just like a lot of other strategy games do, and it's really cool. And the reason why the troop system has such an appeal to me is because, you know, I I just love the fact that you can control different people and when you get when you get to unlock the character in the level or when you save them, each one of the troops has different assets. One may be a tank, one may be a healer, one may be a scout, you know what I'm saying? It's amazing and I even like the di diversity that they have. I mean, you know, I, I don't usually point stuff out like this, but I played the first three chapters, okay, or the first three missions, okay, and what I noticed is, is that each one of the survivors that I got from the torture chambers, or just, you know, saved in general, were all a different race, there was one that was Mexican or Asian, I couldn't tell, one of the two, his name was Pablo, I'm pretty sure he was Mexican or some Spanish descent, and then we had an African-American, and then we had a woman, so there's the different sex right there, and then there was um, a white guy, I believe, and uh, yeah, some amazing diversity there, that's awesome coalition. To be quite honest, I really like the troop system because if you keep them alive, I don't know if they die, maybe if, if they die, I don't know if it ends the mission or you just can't use the troop anymore because I haven't had one die on me yet, but if you, if you do keep them alive and you do save them till the end of the mission, it is pretty amazing because you can go back to your barracks and you can customize the troops. The troops that you save you can customize and you can most likely use in different missions and that's oh that's so amazing i just i love that feature of the game because it it basically just means hey come unlock this character and another thing i like about it is is they're not the main characters that we've been seeing they're just random characters out of the random that you can just take control of and i love that because that's kind of like, to me, if it was in the original Gears games, that's like taking control of one of the random COD Gears, which you could only do if you were like a fourth player on some missions in the older games. And I feel like I'm just getting into the, the rambly and the nitpicking stuff right here, but you guys get the gist. The troop system is amazing, and this game 
It's it's 60 bucks, okay? That's a pretty hefty amount, you know? I didn't know this was going to be a full game. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like Gears Pop, you know, and be like a free game on, like, PC instead. But holy crap, when I started playing the game, I realized why it was 60 bucks quickly. This game is really amazing. The soundtrack's pretty awesome so far. The main villain, which I'm planning to make a video about, is really cool. They're introducing a brand new villain that's only exclusive to the Gears comics that we haven't seen yet. So it's a great idea. The villain's awesome. And uh, yeah, if you guys are a part of the PC Master Race just like I am, uh, you, you can find it on the Microsoft Store and on Steam for right now it's 60 bucks. It's a really great game. If, you, if you're a Gears fan or even if you love strategy games, I'd say go check this game out. It is so far very amazing. And if my, if my opinion changes, if I end up finishing the game and I hate it, I will make a part two, okay? I will make a part two, but for the time being. This game is amazing, and I just want to say thank you guys for all listening. Thank you for all the new subs, you know, here watching, new new viewers. How you guys doing today? Uh, and, uh, yeah, guys, if you have any uh, ideas for videos for me to make, I will make sure to do them. Right now, I'm just making my thoughts on new games and all of that because I don't have a game to focus on like Mortal Kombat or Doom. But if you guys have some video ideas, let me know, and, um... Yeah, guys, that's about it. Hope you guys are having a great day. Don't let anybody break your stride, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, check out my Twitch.